Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest height. I want to thank God for your lives. I want to thank God for all you've been with us for this week. And uh, today we want to remind you that tomorrow in our church is going to be a beautiful time in God's presence. You know, for tomorrow in our church, we're going to have, uh, the, you know, being the last Sunday of the month and it's a fifth Sunday. It's going to be a wonderful time in God's presence. I want to encourage you to be a part of it. Um, tomorrow we'll be having the West, Southwest people and they are going to be enjoying God. And uh, it's like somebody was asking me, would there be interpretation? I said, then you have to link to the Holy Spirit or a person beside you that's, that can hear what they are saying. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you so much. And we are grateful to you. We thank you for all you do. Our prayer is that, Lord, please be glorified. Please, O oh God, bless this day for us. In Jesus' name. Now, tomorrow also is the uh, second to the last day of the month. You know, tomorrow is 30th and uh, 31st is the last day of the month. So it means Tuesday is the first of a new month. And we look forward to entering into this great month called November. My prayer for you, whatever still in October that belongs to you. May God deliver it to you in Jesus' name. I pray the same for myself. Amen. Praise the Lord. So this day, we want to discuss the topic, the wise one. The wise one. And looking at Luke chapter 14, 28 to 30, and I want to read it to you. The Bible says, For which of you Intending to build a tower, seated not down first, and counted the cost, whether he will have sufficient to finish it, less aptly after he had laid the foundation and, and is not able to finish it. Oh! that behold it begin to mock him saying mm, this man began to build and was not able to finish it my prayer for you is that whatever you set out to do may grace abound towards you to complete it and benefit it in jesus name a lot of people started things that they cannot complete some people enter into marriage and somewhere along the line, they broke it up and they pack it up. Some people started school for one reason or the other, they left it. Some people started a business for one challenge or the other, they stopped it. People can start and not finish. But the thing about when a man starts and he did not finish that people will ask questions. Why they do start and not finish? They work with God. They submission to God the relationship with god you must count the cost you must count the cost your marital destiny your desire to live and marry a person you must count the cost can i live with this person because it's a lifetime situation you must count the cost your word you tell somebody i'll see you tomorrow you must count the cost and that's why some people don't say i'll do tomorrow and they'll say perhaps as god grants me some people say, by the grace of God, I'll see you tomorrow. And you see, Jesus, relationship with Jesus, Jesus says something. In few verses just before the verse 28 to 30 that we read, if you read 26 and 27, he said, if any man wants to save his life, he will lose it. But if any man loses his life for my sake, he will save it. See, whatever, the thing about it is that you are in a relationship with me to gain. It can be difficult. There can be pressure. But friends, if you are one of the wise people, you will stick to God. That's what the Bible says in Luke 9, 50, 62. Luke 9, 62. Say, if any man that lay his hand on the plow look back, is not fit. Friends, don't disqualify yourself by looking back. Don't disqualify yourself by 
to suddenly realize that you are not able to. If you start it, let God help you to finish it. Friends, there are great things before you that God wants you to achieve. Receive the grace to do so in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. So remember, I have three services tomorrow. The first service to Yeshua. The second service is the youth and young adult. And the third service, the Southwest people will be containing it. I say God bless you. See you again next week.